David Bernstein, a lot of attention has been paid to how a possible ballot measure dealing with repealing the casino law could impact this fall's elections. But you think some other ballot measures could have a big effect as well. What are they? Well, they're a little bit under the radar now, uh, but uh, there are some measures coming. Uh, the repeal of the gas tax uh, automatic increase uh, is one that's being pushed by conservatives. Uh, and that could, if it gains a lot of momentum, could bring uh, conservatives and sort of anti-tax folks out to the polls. And mm -hmm. when they're there, they might then vote for Republicans. But on the left, you've got a bunch of uh, measures uh, having to do with minimum wage and uh, uh, labor laws and sta nurse staffing and so on uh, that are particularly important to unions, uh, labor unions, and progressives, and they're going to organize and spend. And again, if those pick up steam, those could drive a lot of folks to the polls, and while they're there, perhaps vote for Democrats. Given that we don't know who the Democratic gubernatorial nominee is going to be, uh, would a hypothetical Democrat benefit more from this, or Charlie Baker, who's almost certainly going to be the Republican uh, nominee? The folks that I talk to think that it, it is likely to help the Democrats a little bit. Uh, because the, it, there just is going to be more money and energy around mm -hmm. those issues, uh, and it's going to put uh, Charlie Baker a little bit on a uh, hot seat of whether he takes a position on them. Uh, he's taking a position on the gas tax, but whether he'll take a uh, position on some of these labor issues mm -hmm. uh, might be a little tougher for him. And he's on board with the gas tax repeal, correct? That's right, yeah. All right. David Bernstein, thanks as always. Thank you as always for watching The Scrum. I'm Adam Riley. Now back.